The site has a very long history, um, and I think at one point it was quite an industrial area. And when we started the project, uh, there were these three scenery painting studios. They're from 1917. They're actually listed buildings, um, uh, which Damien Hurst had been using as one of his studios. And the, what we found was that the interiors that we were working with were so tall, they were really unsuitable as galleries. They're too big. So we introduced a floor, the first floor level, eight, and eight meters up in the air. So we're, we're talking really about a suite of gallery spaces, and there are six large galleries in there. It's not just a renovation of a listed building. Uh, it's not a conversion of a listed building. Uh, it's much more complicated than that, and that's what I think is interesting about it as a piece of architecture. Uh, the project basically makes the whole length of one side of a street, and there are two new buildings here and here, uh, either side of the three listed buildings. And the project is about the new and the old buildings together. The new buildings are trying to um, match the existing buildings in terms of their brick tones and colours, but of course they can't completely match. But they're doing that in order to add up to something that I think is, for me it's about my interest in London, the fact that London is a city in which relatively ordinary, relatively low to the ground buildings make good streets. It's also a city of brick buildings. And the project is about that, it's about trying to um, build on what we saw in the existing buildings and then to make it even more exciting. So there's a sort of intention to work with the quality of the place and then to make it into something heightened and more exotic.